Um, am I optimistic? I mean, I've got nothing to fear. Um, I, I, I look at this a bit like a holiday. We don't exist for 13 and a half billion years. Then we exist for 80, 90, 100 years, if we're lucky. And you experience everything. It's amazing. I mean, it's amazing to be alive. The chances of us being here as us, that sperm hitting that egg is 400 trillion to one. It's incredible that we're here, you know. And then we die never to exist again, you know. And um, some people even get offended by me saying that. <laughs> they, they, they say things like, um, um, uh, you don't know that. No, I'll, 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 I'll probably live again, I'll, you know. Some, someone said on Twitter once to me, why don't you pray just in case there's a God? And I said, why don't you put garlic over your door just in case there's a Dracula? Right. <laughs> but I've got, I've got no problem with, with praying, you know, I, you know I, it, it doesn't bother me. For, I've never been bothered by spirituality. I don't believe in it, but it's, I, I never, a personal belief has never been a, a danger. Um, as I say, religion is something else. and okay. Not even just religion, but dogma. Dogma is the, is the dangerous bit, and it doesn't just really exist in religion. It exists uh, in more and more places now, that cultism, that that which shouldn't be questioned. Anything that, you know, that's, that's what you want to question. If someone says you shouldn't question this, oh, you've got, you've got to question it. You've got to question it. <laughs> We're all born atheists, you know, and then that gets changed or enhanced. I mean, there shouldn't even be a word for atheism. It shouldn't exist. You shouldn't need it. There's not a word for not believing in fairies, you know? And if people didn't keep inventing these weird, impossible deities, we wouldn't have to go around denying them. It's a matter of degrees. If you go around um, feeling good because whatever life throws at you, it'll all be okay in heaven, that's great. It doesn't affect anyone. Fine. Um, if you pray that you'll do well at work and then you try hard and do well at work and you believe it was the praying, fine. You know, we, we know it wasn't. We know the praying was irrelevant. We know praying without actually doing anything doesn't do anything. Praying and then working towards something. Praying to me is like making a list. That, that's all it does. It, it may even motivate you. It may even, you know, it's getting your thoughts clear. Thinking there's someone hearing you and changing stuff that's something else. But again, it's still not harmful. But, but if you start doing crazy stuff, because God's telling you to, that affects me. I've got to, I've got to stop you there. <laughs> and if someone goes around saying there is a God and bad people go to hell, fine, it doesn't affect me. If they go around saying there is a God and bad people go to hell, I'm going to help God send them to hell by stoning them to death. Whoa, he doesn't need your help. He's all powerful. Chill out. God's got this See, one. Everyone gets, and I used to be frivolous and I used to do not. Now I just answer them seriously. Um, uh, if we evolved from apes, why are there still apes around? I used to say things like, well, if God made man from dust, why is there still dust around? And things like, you know. <laughs> But now I say, well, we didn't evolve from modern apes. We evolved with modern apes from a common ancestor, rather like... And I just answer it deadly, deadly serious. Like they, you know, uh, it doesn't help. Then <laughs> someone, someone followed it up with, well, I've been at the, going to the same zoo for 24 years and I haven't seen one monkey turn into a person. <laughs> but I think, I think... Even though that's incredibly stupid, we think, actually, it shows what the problem is when people try and understand it. They can't grasp the scale of it. They can't imagine these tiny changes. No one can imagine 50 million years. So they do expect them to, the chimp to go, come on, lad, get on with it. <laughs> and that's because they also give it a will. They think, they think even non-religious people are trying to understand, they try and think that the, the giraffe was... It's really stretching his neck, you know. <laughs> That's the problem. There's lots of little logical problems that hasn't been explained properly. But actually, it's, if I can understand it, anyone can.
you know. Well, I can't, they, they, they can't see that it's nearly an analogue thing as well. And, and, and uh, I think you've spoken about this before, your, your amazing model about if you took a picture of your dad and your grandparents oh, and yeah. their dad, you, at any one point you go, they look alike. But at uh, some point, is a fish. You know, <laughs> eventually, there's a fish. I didn't see that coming. Well, you did. You see, you know, it, it's so that they, again, it's the, it's the scale. The scale is, is unimaginable. It, it's lucky that it did happen because we couldn't imagine it. If it wasn't fact, we couldn't make that up because it's incredible. It's incredible. It's perfectly true whenever I've done that. If you throw a, a, a load of coins on the floor, no one arrangement is more amazing than another. And it's sort of like they work backwards. Because this is what happened, this is what we think is perfection. We, so we try and... We, we, we can't get around the fact that it's crazy, we've got two eyes, I, I, that's exactly where I put them. You know, these, these are brilliant. The, this is exactly, if I was making a person, I'd make it just like me. And it's hard not to think there was a will to it, but there wasn't. You know the Mark Twain quote about, it's so great that I have ears here to hold up these things, we, we have glasses, and these ears are just perfect for that. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And another Mark Twain, Mark well, Twain was who What's said, particularly good yeah. about that, it's a double whammy. Yeah. Because he's being sarcastic about evolution. And, right, right, right. But in a strange way, people should take the analogy of the glasses. Because we know those glasses were made for ears, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's strange. We know that we did that and no one would ever go, what a coincidence. Yeah. Someone, I just found these weird glasses on the floor and they fit my ears. <laughs> and that's what people can't get around because they want to do that with everything. They want to do that with, you know. Yeah. But wasn't it great when he made bees like pollen? <laughs> you know, that was a master stroke. I would just had flowers and bees. He went, no, I'm going to make them need each other. Brilliant. <laughs> There's a wonderful thing about Douglas Adams that, um, that goes against the intelligent design theory. It's, it's a puddle. Oh, the puddle, yes. It's great, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you tell the story. I mean, I'm. Well, I'm it's, 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 it's just that, that um, yeah, a puddle is pondering and it says, I must have been designed because I, I fit, fit so this, well, fit I fit this the, hole yes. perfectly. Yes. Which right. is just beautiful. What a yes. beautiful metaphor. Yes. For trying to explain. Evolution and everything. Um, I also, uh, it's funny as well because they move the goalposts. You can't, you, you cannot, you cannot win an argument with someone who, who believes in God. Certainly, who believes in an interventionist God. It, it, it's impossible. Well, you've won, you've won in the sense that you, you've tried your best and you think you're right and they're deluded. But they go away, you know, just as strong. You know that that. It, 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 I mean, their best argument, ironically, is that it's just faith. Pretty pathetic, really, isn't it? Well, it is pathetic, but they mustn't ever engage in logic. You know, it's like top trumps. They mustn't pick logic on their cards. They've got to, they've got to, they've got to go faith 100%, and then you go, yeah, sorry, you win. You know, that's, that's, that's the only way they're going to win this top trumps. They've got to keep away. Some, some embrace science, some say God um, started the Big Bang, he invented the Big Bang, um, and uh, he let it all happen. Um, it was programmed, um, but now he's, he's, not an, he's not an interventionist God. Um, and uh, I say, well, so you believe in evolution? Yeah, but he did all that, he did that, fine, fine. Um, uh, but then he gave man free will. So then it's, it's not his fault anymore. It's like there's evil, yeah. there's bad. He had a go with the flood, but he thought, I've tried once. Let him get on with it. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'll be in the study, forget it. <laughs> you know? And then I say, well, why do you pray then? Because it makes me feel good. So they sort of know. I think they sort of know, but they don't want to know. Because I think, I did a film uh, uh, called The Invention of Lying, where um, it was a world where, uh, an alternative universe where we'd evolved and no one could tell a lie. And um, I play a guy who comes along and he can lie for the first time. 
and his mum's dying and she's worried about entering a void of nothingness. And I realise I can lie. And I say, no, you're going to a place where you'll be young again and you'll run and jump and everyone gets a mansion. And it's overheard and it spreads and I, I've invented religion. Now, I sort of think that did play a big part in religion. You know, what's the point? I've seen people die, but they're looking down on me. They're still around. You know, that's human in a way. That's, you know, the, we, we don't want to think we're alone and we never see our loved ones again. Um, some you'd avoid. Um, <laughs> pets aren't allowed. <laughs> I know people that stopped believing in God because pets weren't allowed. Yes. In heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what's up with the dog? No soul. No soul. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a minefield, really, for them. Uh, um, and agnostics annoy me more. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, this new, this new trendy um, little linguistic piece of logic that since neither can know, you've got to be agnostic. Well, okay, that's fair enough. But do you, uh, you know, um, follow the same rules with fairies and Santa? No, you don't. Would you tell your kid that we don't know if Santa exists or not? No, you wouldn't, you know. And which God don't you know exists? Which one? Which one don't you know about? Thor. Exactly, Apollo. yeah. Well, I think, yeah. Well, that's the other thing as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in about 2,700 gods. Christians don't believe in 2,699. Yes. So they're nearly as atheistic as me. Yes. <laughs> right. As a percentage, they're right up there. Yes. They're very nearly an atheist. Yes.